All right, I'm down here with a little water generator. Um, just unclogging it and stuff. Kind of got sleeves wet and all that, but uh, that's the way it goes. Anyway, we'll go up here to the windmill and get everything plugged in and let's just see what we got. All right, well, back up here we are. This is my off-grid power station. Um, have three sources of energy going into that power box. I've only got the two batteries in the box right now. Um, I have room for like three or four more batteries on that little cart, so I'm going to expand as time goes by. But let me show you what I've got here. Okay, you can see, of course, the solar panels here. They tilt with the sun. And they run in right here. The wind generator runs in right here over to the windmill, which at this moment is doing nothing. <laughs> uh, there's no wind. Very little sun. What we do have is water. Now I have a water generator. And that's where this pipe goes down through there. It goes down to my water generator, which is spinning right now. Probably can't see it. You can see that yellow pipe there, though. That is the pipe that is coming from up here. You can tell I'm pointing the camera down a lot. Uh, that's a pretty good hill. So once it gets down to that water generator, I've got another video that shows that. I'll put it in the description. But, once it gets down to that water generator, it spins it pretty fast. And, it, the power comes from that up, it's three-phase power, into my power box. And that goes into another of the same charge controllers that I got for the windmill. Okay, now, the only thing that we're really getting right now... 12.7 let's see here let me unplug one of the leads for the water power here so there's that and let's see what we got here we've got is not 6.5 eh, slowly going down alright so what happens when I plug in my water generator 7.5 yep it's charging so I'm really not getting much from solar or wind right now, but the water is kicking in to actually give me some power. Nice. All right. So that is my off-grid power generation station with three different sources of energy. Um, I'll put links to each uh, different source. I've done videos on each source. I've done a video on the windmill, how I did that, the several videos a video on how I built the little solar generator and I have a video showing the water generator all right so we've got all of our power systems going hooked into our power station now what are we doing with that power okay now this part is temporary I'm gonna change this out for a more heavy duty cord but I'm wanting some 10-2 wire, and 10-2 is pretty expensive. So right now we're dealing with, I've got two, let's see, two extension cords. That one is a 100-footer, and I have an orange one that this one plugs into. Uh, well, 100 foot that way. And the orange one, goes up to my off-grid cabin so 
about 150 foot at the end of this line is a cabin that is powered by this box right here actually the power is not turned on right now I left the breaker off because I wanted to have this plugged in first and then go down and turn on the breaker so anyway all right uh, you can see a little change that I made on this box this is going to be to kind of hold the batteries in place uh, I know it's not tall enough to cover them, but it'll kind of, with the lid off of it, it'll hold them in place. Uh, right now i got some tools and stuff with me. But, we might do a little test and see what the water generator puts out real quick. Okay, now you can see what I've got is one side of this meter hooked into the lead. One of the leads coming from the water generator. And uh, the other lead of the of the meter, I'm going to plug in right here. Let's see if I can get both. All right, let's see what we're pulling. So the water generator is putting out about 3... 3.8, 3.5, I mean, also you can figure as the battery gets charged, of course it's going to drop. But it puts out about 50 watts or so because it's about 3 amps, 4 amps. I think when it first started out, it was putting out 4 amps. Let's see. Give it just a minute and plug it in now about four amp 4.2 there we go yeah see you get about four amps or any uh any more draw than that on it and the water generator is useless so it it puts out about 50 watts so that's not too bad okay so we're just going to plug it back in and we'll go down to the cabin and see if everything works well, all right, here we are up at the old cabin, off-grid, this is a pallet wood cabin. It's all framed with pallet wood. Uh, the whole front here is all pallet, big um, long pallets. I just broke down and put all the wood strips on there. Uh, the windows are all recycled, uh, two stories of windows. <laughs> kind of, it's a loft up there, not really a second story. but. Uh, everything on this cabin was free or very very cheap and now I have free power and I have three sources of power so I should have power all the time with no problems let's go in and check it out now let's just open the door go in we can see kind of dark in there isn't it that's because the breaker is off so we'll come in here, here's, here's the breaker box, and let's turn on our main. Okay, <laughs> I'm never sure whenever I first turn off, <laughs> after, well I guess after a big long run like that, it always makes you think, is it actually going to go this far, because we're about, probably 150 foot from the uh, power source so that's what we got we have as you can see over here we have lights that is a LED 110 volt light bulb there are several of them in here I could probably run one of them all the time and just never shut it off in fact that's what I had been doing just with the water generator now probably a couple of them on uh, me no problem anyway that's my little off-grid cabin with the power source I showed you what the power source is if you're interested in the cabin and seeing how I built it and uh, I actually did a tour and all that if you're interested in any of that I'll leave a link in the description to the video where I did a tour of this little cabin I have done a few more things on it though so it's a little different now. 
anyway as you can see lights are on light right there so we have power in the off-grid cabin we have free power we have free heat with the wood stove now our cooking we got to use propane on cooking so I guess that's not perfect but our water is free so everything's free except for propane to cook with if you're interested in uh, how I built this cabin or a tour of it or anything like that I'll put a link in the description to that other than that appreciate everybody watching I'll see y'all on the next one